Okay, so we all know ChatGPT is a little bit smart. I mean, it knows every language, knows pretty much most of history, and it could probably even guess how many fingers I'm holding up behind my back. But the question is, is ChatGPT smarter than an 18 year old? So it can be seen on OpenAI's website that ChatGPT has taken various exams and some of which I've already taken. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing a genius, all knowing source of information to ChatGPT. And if this video can get let's say 20 likes, I'll go ahead and make a part two of this video where I take the A12 reasoning challenge, which is a benchmark for machine learning models. And while I'm not a language learning model, I just wanna see if ChatGPT can handle the smoke. But let's go ahead and look at the test that we're gonna be going over today. So first is gonna be SAT reading along with SAT math. We'll look at AP calculus, AP language, AP literature. We'll look at macroeconomics and also AP gov. And finally, we'll look at AP Physics. So that means there's eight categories that we're gonna be compared on, and if by any chance there is a tie, the win goes to me, because I'm just like that. But first, let's go ahead and put you right over here. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so let's look at ChatGPT's score. On SAT, evidence-based reading and writing, ChatGPT got a 710. Let's go. Look at that, so that's one out of eight I already won, because what did I say, I'm like that. ChatGPT 4, let me be specific. ChatGPT 4 got a 710 because ChatGPT 3.5, they push in a 670. I got that back in sophomore year, fresh, probably freshman, probably eighth grade, if I if I remember so correctly. So really is what it's starting to look like ChatGPT isn't hanging. I mean, it's simple. Okay, so now we're going to look at SAT math. Is that what like proper name? Probably SAT math. I think for my SAT math, I got a 760. Cause that adds up to 1450, right? So I got a 760 on my SAT math. So now let's go ahead and look at what chat GPT four got on SAT math. So SAT math, 700. Oh my gosh. I'm two for two for two and oh, is that what it is? Two and oh, two and oh, someone help chat GPT out. Someone please do it. Like I said, so reading 710, I got a seven, I got a 690. Oh shoot that. I lost that one. Why did I not see that? Uh, okay. So I lost the first one. It's actually one and one. Cause I got higher math, but I lost on the reading portion. Still have six more, six more tests to look through. But right now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, honestly. So next, I think we have AP Calculus, and this one is a little, a little twisted because uh, ChatGPT four took AP Calculus BC, and I've only taken AB. This is a, a little bit of a loose comparison. We got AP Calculus BC is what ChatGPT took. AP Calculus BC, ChatGPT four got a four. So, I mean, if you really think about it, I got a five on AB. And if you do like the average and then you take the derivative, I mean, you see, I won this one, let's be honest. But it also says that Chad GPT 3.5, which was a little bit, only like a few months ago, got a one on Calculus BC and let's, I could get above a one. So I am gonna take this one, I think, because, you know, like I said, it's me. So we'll move on from here. I'm going two and one right now. Like I said, I'm pretty confident, pretty confident. Next, we're gonna look at AP English language and composition, right? So this test, I got a, I think I got a five on this one. This is the one from, yeah. So this one I got a five on. I'm already giggling looking at this. I'm already giggling because ChatGPT4 got a two on English literature. Oh, I spoiled. ChatGPT got a two on English language and composition, which, if I do the math correctly, that's a lot less than five. Okay, so we're moving on. This is four tests down. We got four left. We halfway through and I'm I'm feeling confident, like I said. Now it's on AP English Literature and Composition. And if you were just listening before, I did spoil this one. ChatGPT only got a two, which is embarrassing if we're being honest. I got a four on that exam. If you watched my last video and if you haven't, go check it out right now. AP English Literature and Composition, I got a four and ChatGPT only got a two. So that's four and one. That is four and one. Somebody help him out. Okay, now we're moving on. <coughs> okay, we're looking at AP Physics 2. See, this is where it gets sticky again. Like, it's just like the calculus example. I didn't take AP Physics 2, but I did take AP Physics 1 and also AP Physics C. If I remember correctly, I think Physics 2 also goes over ENM. Again, if you watched the last video, you know that on my ENM test, I got a one. We're just gonna, we're gonna look at all the tests as a whole and you can make the decision on who wins this one. My AP Physics 1 test, I got a 4. And then the next year on Mechanics, I got a 4. Which, like I said, go watch the last video. And then on my ENM, I got a 1. So this comparison, I might I might conclude it void. 
because AP Physics 2 for chat, GBT 4 got a 4. I'll call it a draw. How about that? Because it does go over e and but I feel like if I... I got a 1 on E&M, though. That's pretty... Okay, you know what? I'm feeling generous because I've already caught so many dubs. I'm giving this one to chat, GBT. So now I'm pushing 3 and 2. Is that what it is? Because I did the SAT math. Calc. Did I give myself the calc one? Yeah, because it was a tie. It's, tie goes to me. So uh, I gave myself the calc one. I gave myself the English ones. Do I have 4? I already have four dubs. It's gonna be four and two right now. We got two more tests to go over, two more. Okay, so the next test that we're gonna be looking at is AP US government. So in this one, again, if you watch the last video, if this is urging you to do it, go ahead and do it. But on the last one, uh, in US government, I only got a three. It's not that good when compared to a, a machine learning model. <coughs> so looking at ChatGPT four, AP US government, ChatGPT got a five. Okay, not too much to talk about right there. I did lose that one pretty bad. Uh, so now I'm looking at four and three. <sighs> one more test, one more test. If it's a tie, I mean, if it's a tie, I win, but it's still like my ego's taking punches. I won't lie. AP macroeconomics. So on this one, I also got a three. Watch the last video. Watch the last video. I also got a three. AP macroeconomics, chat GPT four, got a five. Government economics killed me. It really did, it really did, but I will say, looking over a few notches, you also see that ChatGBT 3.5 only got a 2 on economics. But all that tells me is that I'm on my 3.5 right now. Over here, ChatGPT is on its 4, I'm on my 3.5. So pretty soon, I'll be on my 4 and I'll be good. But okay, let's tally it up. On my SAT reading, ChatGPT 1. GG's. On my math, I took that dub by a lot. By the way, it was by a lot. So somebody go talk to ChatGPT. Also on calculus, I think I gave myself the tie. Because like I said, I'm, I mean, I make the rules. So I gave myself the tie. Moving on to composition. I think I beat ChatGPT in composition and in literature. Those, I took the dub. But then if we knock down to physics, we, we draw it out. And I think I gave it to ChatGPT. So that's what, four and three? No, that's four and two. Four and two. And then in the stretch of the game, the last stretch of the game, ChatGPT did come back and make it 4-4 with government and economics. But like I said in the beginning of the video, tie goes to me. But, but, because I'm feeling very generous, I'll give ChatGPT the benefit of doubt and I'll accept the tie. And ChatGPT deserves the one-up a little bit because it took a lot more tests than I did. Like the bar exam, I'd probably push to zero. And ChatGPT got a 298 out of 400. I don't even know what that means, but that sounds really good. I assume it's really good. Okay, so those are the comparisons between ChatGPT and an 18-year-old college student. Am I a college student if it's the summer? Yeah, we'll go with that. So ChatGPT versus an 18-year-old college student. Like I said, if you like up the video and we get a 20 likes, 20 likes, I'll make a part two where I take another test. We'll see if I can beat ChatGPT. I still got that confidence, especially after this comparison, because what if it's over language and composition? Then I win that test. Like, I, t I think I get the bag right there. If you like the video, please like the video. It means so much. And also subscribe. I'm dropping content. I'm going to try weekly. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to be posting. But comment down below too uh, if you beat ChatGPT in this video. Because I know a lot of y'all got really high P scores. I saw from the last video in my comment section. That's the last time I'm shouting out the last video. I actually, I'll be putting the link up here throughout the video or i think that's the right corner i don't know i get mixed up because i think it flips but yeah that's all today so thanks for watching and i'll, I'll see you later